So we're going to be talking about diesel fuel additives and the benefits for farm machinery. And I want to ask you this. I know we are familiar with the diesel fuel additive for the winter conditions, but you have several different additives. Is this a conversation that is familiar to farmers or is this something that's a little bit new? Well, the modern additive is not so familiar to farmers. It's an education process because things have changed so much. So if I could give you a little bit of of evolution of, of additives first started out with them they were used in the winter time only basically to keep fuel from gelling up because the old number two diesel fuel is to gel up quite quickly because of a high paraffinic level so that went on for a while and then they i think it was the late 80s they decided to remove sulfur from the diesel fuel for the environment environmental concerns there was two steps to that step one was what they called low sulfur diesel LSD and then after a little bit came ultra low sulfur diesel which is ULSD. The issue was that when they remove the sulfur they basically heat up fuel to, in the refinery to tremendous heat, tremendous temperatures and what happens is that the lubricating value of the diesel then drops. So there were a few years there where there was huge problems with pumps seizing up because of a dryness of the fuel and that was rectified by the refinery the lubrication, although people still worried a lot about it, became less of an issue. And there is still an issue where chemical that's used for lubrication tends to cling on to metal. So if it travels down pipelines, you lose some of the value, but not all of it. Then what happened was they went to the, what they call tier four diesel engines, which have all electronic systems on them. And the injectors went from being hydraulically or mechanically driven to being driven by milliamps of electricity using chips and the tolerances were much finer the holes in the injector the spray holes in the injectors were much smaller and then the heat the pressure of the injectors went up from like 12,000 psi to 26,000 psi and that combination of heat and toler small tolerances and high pressure caused what they call internal diesel injector deposits and these are small deposits that accumulate inside what a farmer would see is fuel filter is turning gray prematurely and turning black, some kind of black sludge in the filters eventually. And they think that that is coming in their fuel, but the fuel that they get from the refinery, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. It's the, the trouble starts in the engine when the combustion takes place, that heat breaks the fuel down and we start to get these little deposits, very small, some you can hardly see with your eye. And so clean fuel and treatment of fuel is now becoming a big issue. Because of that fuel additive now, is becoming